Hey there, fitness enthusiasts and bodybuilding aficionados. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the training secrets of a true legend, Steve Reeves, the one hailed as the aesthetics king in the world of physique sculpting. From the golden era of bodybuilding to the present day, Steve Reeves' name resonates with the very essence of perfection. His chiseled physique and timeless charisma have inspired countless individuals to push their limits and achieve greatness. But what made Steve Reeves stand head and shoulders above the rest? How did he craft that awe-inspiring body, possessing the ideal blend of strength, symmetry, and grace? In this video, we dive deep into the heart of Steve Reeves' full-body workout method, leaving no stone unturned. Get ready to explore the very foundations of his training philosophy and uncover the workout routines that forged an enduring legacy of aesthetic excellence. With insights drawn from historical accounts, documented interviews, and the knowledge of seasoned fitness experts, we'll reveal the secrets behind Steve Reeves' Herculean upper body, his V-shaped torso, and his powerful limbs. Get ready to unleash the power of aesthetics. If you aspire to sculpt a classic and aesthetic physique, then Steve Reeves' workout methodology might just be the key to unlocking your full potential. As an advocate of full-body workouts, Steve believed in building a symmetrical and powerful body through comprehensive training sessions. Today, we delve into one of his favorite full-body routines, as detailed in his book, Building the Classic Physique the Natural Way, 1995. Here's Steve Reeves' classic physique workout, embracing the Aesthetics King's full body routine. He began with the incline dumbbell press, gripping the weights firmly and feeling the tension in his chest as he pushed them upwards. He completed three sets, focusing on hitting 8 to 12 reps each time. Next up was the breathing front squat, a unique exercise designed to expand his rib cage. As he took deep breaths between each repetition, he felt his lungs and muscles working harmoniously, amplifying his performance with each breath. With the dumbbell lateral raises, Steve honed his shoulders, striving for that perfectly rounded appearance. Three sets of 15 reps each, ensuring his delts would pop like mountain peaks, completing the timeless symmetry of his physique. Moving on to the seated barbell curls, he knew this exercise was the epitome of sculpting strong, powerful arms. Steve took the weight seriously, focusing on the negative movements, resisting each downward motion with tenacity. Three sets of 12 reps, a true testament to his unwavering dedication. The alternate dumbbell front raise followed next, as he worked to achieve that well-defined anterior deltoid. Two sets of 15 reps focusing on balance and fluidity, making sure each movement contributed to the overall masterpiece. With the bent-over rows and one-arm row, Steve dedicated himself to developing a strong back, a canvas upon which he would etch a masterpiece of lats and erectors, two sets each, twelve reps each, forging the very essence of his enduring strength. He then tackled the lunges with barbell, pushing himself to perform until breathless. The intensity echoed his commitment to forging every fiber of his lower body to withstand the test of time. As he engaged in good mornings, Steve executed each rep with precision, one set, 15 reps, perfecting his lower back and hamstrings with each movement. The dumbbell French press demanded his focus next. With three sets of 12 reps, he sculpted his triceps, ensuring they were the epitome of power and definition. The workout wasn't complete without the calf raises, working tirelessly to elevate his calves to Herculean standards. One set, 30 to 40 reps, leaving no doubt that he was the king of aesthetics from head to toe. Lastly, he approached the bench press, the epitome of upper body strength. Two sets of 12 reps, a final touch to his full body masterpiece. Remember to perform each exercise with the heaviest weight possible while maintaining impeccable form and avoiding cheat reps. Move the weight slowly and deliberately through a full range of motion, ensuring maximum muscle engagement. Between sets, take a rest of at least 45 to 60 seconds to allow your muscles to recover adequately for the subsequent sets. This routine is typically done on specific days to facilitate sufficient recovery time.
Steve Reeves integrated breathing front squats into his routine to aid in ribcage expansion. During these squats, pause and take a few deep breaths between each repetition to enhance the capacity of your respiratory muscles. For the seated barbell curls, focus on using heavy weights and emphasize the negative movement. If necessary, you can use a controlled swing to lift the weight or involve your knees, but ensure to resist the weight slowly and controlled all the way down. Reeves emphasized the importance of dedication and consistency in his training. The natural way was his mantra, and he demonstrated that true greatness in bodybuilding could be achieved without the use of performance-enhancing substances. A firm advocate of full-body workouts, Reeves adhered to a strict schedule training three days a week, on Monday, p.m., Wednesday, a.m., and Friday, p.m. The silver era of bodybuilding celebrated full-body routines, but with the advent of performance-enhancing drugs, body part splits became more prevalent in the modern era. However, full-body routines remain an excellent approach for natural lifters like Reeves. The key lies in thoughtful programming, and Reeves followed a specific order in training each muscle group. Delts, chest, back, biceps, triceps, quadriceps, hamstrings, calves, lower back, abdominals, and neck. This order may not be universally applicable, but it serves as a helpful starting point. Notably, Steve trained his entire upper body before delving into any leg exercises. He understood that the legs played a significant role in supporting upper body movements, and fatiguing them beforehand would compromise the output of upper body exercises. Additionally, Reeves prioritized the larger muscle groups, such as delts, chest, and back, before moving on to accessory work like bicep or tricep exercises. This approach prevented early fatigue and allowed for better performance in compound lifts. Embracing antagonist training, Steve's full-body split alternated between opposing muscle groups, focusing on chest and then back, and biceps before triceps. This strategic alternation allowed for maximum efficiency and recovery. Furthermore, recognizing the significance of addressing weaknesses, Reeves strategically incorporated training for lagging body parts early in the session. By targeting these areas first, he ensured that they received the attention and energy needed for growth. Steve Reeves' approach to full-body workouts exemplified the essence of his dedication and meticulous planning. While his specific routine may not suit everyone, the principles behind it, thoughtful programming, prioritizing recovery, and addressing weaknesses, are timeless and applicable to anyone seeking to sculpt a well-rounded and powerful physique. Remember, the key to success lies in finding an approach that aligns with your individual goals and preferences.